first one is integral. And this is what I would call an embarrassing application of the of integration by substitution, which is really just the chain rule in reverse. And for integrals like this, you should absolutely not write anything down except the answer. And here's how your brain should work. You should maybe look at this first and say to yourself, I'm looking at cosine of something. So once again, you just name what you see with one word. The fact that it's cosine of something complicated is irrelevant at this point. You have to name what you're seeing with one word because that word will dictate what it is the derivative of. So here, I'm looking at cosine. Oh, so it must be the derivative of sine. So it will be the derivative of sine. Sine of what? Well, your only option, if it's the derivative of sine to the ten, of x to the 10th power. It can only be sine of x to the 10th power. So let's write it down. Our very intelligent guess that it is sine of x to the 10th power because it's the only thing it can be. So I have to go with this guess. I will now start taking the derivative of this in my head and I will realize that it will be cosine of x to the 10th, which is what I have, which is great. And then rolling with a chain rule, I will have 10 times x to the 9th. And my target was x to the 9th. So I'm basically hitting my target, except I'm a factor of 10 of what my intended target was. So to make up for it, I have to put in a factor of 1 tenth. And we're done, except for the constant of integration. Does that make sense? So I feel very passionate about this. In other calculus classes, you will see an introduction of I don't even want to write it, or do I? You, you would write, I guess I'll do it, just to show you what not to do. U equals x to the 10th. Then du equals 10 times x to the 9th. And then from here, you will make a cosine of u times 1 tenth du, and I guess you'll go from there which is just an inexcusable amount of work, and nobody thinks about it this way. This is basically substituting intelligence, intuition, and practice for some robotic, time-consuming, error-prone procedure. But this is not helpful because even to get to this step, you still have to recognize that you're looking at this kind of pattern. Right? You cannot bypass the step of recognizing that, gee, I'm looking at the result of applying the chain rule. Okay? 